Uh, I have me. I don't have a name. All registered names are Crown Copyright. So if uh, a name is Crown Copyright, you can't be liable for it if the Crown claim to own it. What am I doing here at St Paul's? Well, I'm enjoying myself. This is the uh, biggest live entertainment you could ever get in the world or the universe right now. It's like sitting in one big Monty Python sketch where people say they want to be free from a system of control and set up a new body of rules. More rules than that government can ever enforce. The police are actually laughing at people down here because they're coming up with silly rules like no kicking a football, uh, no drinking. The police can't even enforce that round here. So where have they got their authority from? Who have they, they got their power from? You know what I mean? This is like controlled from the outside in. The people at these general assemblies that are actually having the meetings and shaking their hands, 90% of them are actually not staying here full time. So the way I see it from uh, an observer from the outside is it's being controlled. Uh, Occupy London is definitely an inside job where you've got people that are coming in from the outside making up a body of rules for people that are staying here. It's, uh, the kitchen gets closed at midnight. This is the people's kitchen. So the community that actually stay here, uh, not the public that walk through all day long, this seems like a media showcase to me. Because if you're shutting the kitchen, what are the community that are staying here all night going to eat? It's like, I feel like saying, somebody please save us, they're not feeding us after midnight. Like, uh, they've come out of a system of divide and rule controlled by fear and they can't see another way of living outside of that control except set up their own control. That's not freedom. Yeah, it's like they're, they're setting up uh, more rules instead of living on morals. What I think people should realise is um, instead of discussing the solutions for three hours a day at general meetings and then having the same meetings every day, they should realise they are the solution. Get on as a community, you don't need money, these donations should be burnt and buried, but instead of putting them into another bank account. And then discussing having meetings with like banking elites and uh, financial directors to try and create a new monetary system and Robin Hood tax is just another system of control. They're going to enforce exactly what the new world order wants, probably thinking we should have done this ages ago. They're better at controlling each other than we are. I mean, they're, they're actually doing it blatantly and people are actually running around and jumping to their tune without them needing to do anything except set up some anonymous scam that got in all the media, it got all the world press, then all of a sudden the world is being occupied by this anonymous. Occupy, legal definition, means to go to war. If you're claiming to go to war outside St Paul's Cathedral, you're going to lose all your rights as a beneficiary. And that's what you are to a church. You are a beneficiary and allowed to use that as a church. All these people that are claiming to protest, camp, stay, demonstrate, occupy, are liable in a courtroom. Well, there are no such thing as members. Anonymous is just an idea. When you wake up to the corruption around you on every level and you do something about it, that's when you really become anonymous. But everybody's anonymous anyway. It's just that some haven't woken up yet. Basically, if people wanted to come down and join in, they've got to realise that they are their own authority. Nobody can tell anyone what to do. As long as you're acting honourably and abiding by common law, and the law is no harm, loss, fraud, breach of the peace. All statutes and acts actually require your consent to be given the force of law. A statute is legally defined as a legislated rule, so it's not law, of society. And a society being a group of people joined by mutual consent. I've not consented to join the society with them rules, so them rules don't apply to me. It's just but a game of honour and dishonour and staying in authority and how you play that game. Um, like if a police constable asked me my name, I would say to them, uh, do you have any proof I'm liable to have such a thing as a name? And if they say, what, you haven't got a name? I say, no sir, you've made a claim. Do you have any proof I have this thing to give you that you call a name? If I get arrested and I go to court, I will say in the courtroom, I'm here as a friend of the court, I believe there has been a mistake, I wish to seek remedy in the way of a proper notice. When they ask for my name, I say, do you require the name on the birth certificate? They say yes, and I say, if it says Crown Copyright on a birth certificate, how can I be liable for something that the Crown claimed to own? 
and I've had cases dismissed, not in the public's interest, or releasing them as a name unknown. The way I see it is we're living in a prison without bars. But this prison is made of paper, and what is written on paper is fiction. Any legal documents, legal titles are defined as fiction. Money is fiction, it has no value. Statutory instruments have no uh, value, they are fiction. They, need, they are just rules of a game that need you to be compliant, to abide to it. If you learn how to play the game and learn the game of conditional acceptance or the name game, because you are not the name, then you can play that game with them and learn to be free.